welcome to this Lightarama hardware tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you three basic Lightarama controllers, talk about which lights plug into each, and then show you how a basic system connects. We'll start with the CTB16 PC controller. This controller is designed for traditional incandescent or LED lights. There is also a commercial version of this controller. There are 16 plugs coming off the end of this controller, which look like standard extension cords that you'd find at any hardware store. This is meant for incandescent or LED Christmas lights, and they just plug together like this. Moving over, this is the CMB24D controller, and this is designed for dumb RGB lights, such as the 10 watt floodlight. These ends look a little bit different. These are called dangles, sometimes referred to as pigtails in the industry. They've got prongs on the inside and don't look like a standard plug. All you have to do is line up the grooves and they connect together. And then you'll use the screw cap to make sure everything is secured in place. Third, we have the Pixie Series controller. This controller is meant for smart RGB lights, such as ribbons, bullets, squares, or bulbs. These dangles look similar to the CMB24Ds, but they are different. You cannot plug smart RGB lights into this controller, and you cannot plug dumb RGB lights into this controller. But similarly, these do connect together with prongs. You line up the grooves, everything connects together, and then you'll use the screw cap to keep everything in place. So how do all of these controllers work together in the same show? The secret is Cat5 or Cat6 line, also known as Network Cable Online. Each of these controllers has RJ45 ports, these little black cubes right here that have an opening for a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. You'll take one end of your cable, plug it into one of the network ports. These can both be used as in and out because we're creating a daisy chain. You don't have to plug a specific one in to go in or out, they are interchangeable. So now we'll take this cable and come over to the CMB, find the network ports, which are right here, and plug in the cable. So now we've got our daisy chain started from one controller to another. I'll get another Cat5 cable so that we can go from the CMB over to the CTB16 PC. I'll plug the Cat5 into the other RJ45 port and come over to our residential series controller. Find the network port here and plug it in. Normally when you're doing these cables, you'd want to thread them through the openings on the controller to keep everything protected, but I've left everything open for demonstration purposes just for this video. So how do we get this all to actually run our shows? At this point, you need to decide whether you're running everything off of a computer or you're going to use a Lightarama Showtime Director. In either case, you'll need another Cat5 cable. Here, we'll go from the first controller in our chain, which is the CTB16 PC, and plug it into the other port. If you're going to run your show from a computer, you will need a USB 485 adapter. One end has a connector point for a Cat5 cable, the other end is a USB. So we'll take the Cat5 coming out of our first controller, plug it into the adapter, and then take the other end, which is a USB, and plug it right into the computer. If you're going to run with a Showtime director, you won't use this adapter at all. You'll take this Cat5 line directly and plug it into a Showtime director, right into network one. This Showtime director has four network ports, one, two, three, four, but there are smaller models. This N2 has two network ports, and this Minion director has one. If you need to use multiple networks on a computer, you would end up getting multiple USB adapters. Each adapter represents one network. So now we have a line coming from our Showtime director into our first controller, into our second controller, and into our third controller, which means all of these can be used in the same show. 
And that's it for this basics tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.